Hi, thank you for watching this video. Today, this video we're going to share about this uh, information nugget called net rentable area. If you are a REIT investor and you, if you have watched my previous videos, you will know that I have a personal preference to, for a REIT manager to increase the net rentable area because increasing net rentable area is the is a more sustainable way than increasing the rental rates that they charge the tenants okay so in Singapore we do have this uh, government authority urban redevelopment authority that shares more technical details on how on how to determine the gloss floor area that a read or a property in a read can have so we head straight and and this is the website ura.gov.sg and we want to find out give you a basic understanding of gross floor area so you type the term here gross floor area and you see that there's a handbook down here this handbook maybe will be uh, updated regularly by the authorities and this handbook documents what are the things that goes into the gross floor area and what doesn't is not counted as gross floor area I've downloaded the PDF and move to section 4 okay so two things you need to take note the side area and the plot ratio because if we go down to set to point 4.23 you discover that the plot ratio equals to the gross floor area which is what we wanted to know divided by the site area often the piece of a piece of land that the government sells the site area will be fixed so how can we best maximize the gross floor area is via the plot ratio and URA has a website for us as REIT investors to determine whether the, our REIT manager, REIT manager maximize the plot ratio which in turn maximizes the gross floor area which in turn maximizes the net letable area of your REIT property okay so I hit back here to find out the plot ratio you come over this part and click tools for professionals and you come down here development charge rates next come to this part called search DC sector map service and this is where you get all the information and we want to find out the master plans Personally, I have vested interest between, uh, no, in Capital Commercial Trust and Santec, uh, Santec So I look at these two different, uh, two different properties in these two different rates. One of them is Capital Tower. Okay, once you type Capital Tower, you see that. Let me zoom in. Okay, you can see that Capital Tower has a plot ratio of 11.2 as compared to Sun Tech City which has a plot ratio of 4.1 and how do I know whether this is the how do I know if this is the plot ratio there's so a legend down here and you scroll down you see that the numbers mean the maximum permissible plot ratio okay so recall that the gross floor area divided by the site area so the site area is this equals the plot ratio so during one of the after this doing this research one of the questions that I'll ask my read managers is how are we able to maximize the plot ratio in order to increase the net letable area of a rig property i hope this small nugget small information nugget has given you more understanding 
on how you can find out more about the individual properties that is injected into your REIT portfolio. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.